interior air cabin filter. What I'm gonna do is open up our door here, take all our stuff out, separate, place it on the floor, seats, everything. And that's a nice thick piece of glass. I'm wondering if it's if this windshield's been replaced. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get started. Filter is stored right here. So what you want to do is pull up this puppy here. So, you know, keeping that as a souvenir. And what we're gonna do is push. And we're gonna push that side as well. So push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. There we go. My finger ain't kinda pull it out. Woo let's see what we got. How many miles is on this truck? 40,000, 40,000 miles. I honestly believe that this is the original region new cabin air filter let's take her out let's take her out and see how delicious she looks right, just look at that that's absolutely delicious you see the sides see how white the sides are in comparison to this Dude, that is delicious. All right, let's go grab our new cabin air filter out the box. This one says up so you know what since this arrow points up we're gonna point this arrow to the same thing all right we're going in so as you can see that's our blower motor so it's definitely we want to say airflow up since we have our blower motor motor here you follow by the arrow which the arrow is pointing up, which my O1, uh, the arrow was also pointing up. So that is correct. We'll just ignore the little type upside down typo. If yours has the same thing, uh, this should be ideally flipped over, but you know, it is what it is. Up arrow, that's the way that we install this bad boy. So we're gonna go ahead and push this bad boy back in here. It's pretty much flushed and we're gonna go ahead and take our tray and as you can see even the tray stayed it up so that is 100 percent correct so we're gonna go ahead and push evenly side by side and she's in there there's no clicks or anything that you're gonna hear but she's in there 
So now, we take this, and this, this also has the uh, arrows side up, and up to remove, so we're gonna go ahead and slide that in. And I'm back. So my issue was that I was pushing too hard. Um, now we got them inside. All right. So now let's put our tray back on, and again hooks on to each side. filter cabin air filter correction is clean she's clean now we can put everything back and we're good to go so that's pretty much how you change your uh tundra's interior cabin air filter um now we're gonna pretty much see if uh if we're gonna uh you know get some uh quality high quality uh air conditioning <laughs> um basically um i'm going to see if this will actually help address my issue with the windows fogging which i was advised that it will um another thing that i was told is that when you have the air on circulating inside um the outside temperatures which uh last night it was warm outside and in the inside interior temperatures was colder because they had the ac on you know with the air circulating what well, what we need to do is actually with the ac on while it's raining we need to bring the we need to turn this off and then that way the outside air can come inside the vehicle while the ac is on and then it'll have that uh proper mixture airflow mixture and that way that will flog up the windows but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep this on i'm gonna keep the uh circulating air on and see just alone if that changing the filter addresses the issue all right guys ac is on and it is cool absolutely blowing cool um i didn't have any issues with the ac anyway um but it, it, it's it's definitely cool however what i what i did notice is that um, I don't smell like this funny smell. I can't really explain it, but it's a smell that doesn't smell sour, sweet, or like mildew. It's nothing like that, but it's like a, I guess it's, it smells something like a new system type of smell, new AC type of system smell, new, you know, filtration system type of smell. It's, it's weird to really explain, but it's definitely noticeable. Uh, with the AC on, but right now I don't smell anything. I absolutely do not smell anything and it feels cool um, I got my temps on 67. That's where I usually keep it between 67 and 68 And it's it, it gets cold enough for this vehicle that sometimes I have to bring it up to 69 um, So I've really never had uh, issue per se um, with my you know truck AC system cooling off the interior uh, unless it was like 99 degrees, then it took took some time. So you know, but you know, right now we're looking at 88 uh, degrees outside. So and it's raining. So I highly recommend, guys, that you clean your cabin air filter, which is located in your glove box. You can save you a lot of money, a lot of money. You know, here my kids back there, they already enjoying it, the fresh air. All right, guys, if this video was helpful for you, please like, comment, and hit the subscribe. I appreciate it. Peace.